Oh, you, you can come in here. Yeah. Huh? yeah. So you could, I could feel a little, you know. Yeah, three and a half inch drop from that wall. Well, I mean, oh to wow. The center. Let's see. Those are eight foot doors. Uh -huh. yeah. so Take it apart. Uh -huh. Put in a regular seven and a half footer. Oh, yeah. Mr. Carpenter. Oh, I want that door. <laughs> <laughs> so. So, I mean, would they use this? They want offices up here? Yeah. So we got, you have to have an elevator then. Yes, yeah. we know that. Yeah. Um, we have. Uh, Economic development, trees are shoved in a corner uh -huh. with road and bridge. And we just got a lot of problems down at that basement. We're outgrowing everything. At the, at the morning house? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yeah. so you, you're going to use some, you put some other offices up here. Other oh, places. yeah, it'd be oh, zoning. Not just oh. the health department. No, it's not just health department. Excellent. Oh. That would put, we got people scattered too far. Yeah, yeah. We would like to, these are nice and close. Mm -hmm. That's right. And a so, nice little reception area or yeah. something, yeah. But see, the load bearing wall here is the center wall. Uh -huh. So these walls, we can arrange them as we pretty much like. And the reason you see the boxes along the walls, that's the strong point. We're afraid to put them in the middle. Uh, yeah. <coughs> ah, fireplace. Yeah. Oh, darn. But the ceilings could be lowered, the doors lowered. Square them off. Oh. I mean, in my mind, oh. it's fixable. Oh. And does anybody else share your opinion? Not yet. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Wait till yeah. the yeah. bill for the new building comes in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we want to yeah. let us know when the architect's coming. Yes. 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 Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that wall. Now, here's you. That's the concrete yeah. wall for right. the outside. Yes. That can be dressed up. Oh, with sure. Plaster filled oh, in and sure. just recovered with drywall frame. Oh, sure. But okay. there's a bit of a sag to these rafters here. Yep. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You can tell yeah. they've been wet over years. Yep. Yep. So we don't know. Replace them, any, brace them. Is there any way that. The roof could be changed to a, a vaulted roof rather than a flat roof. Just money. Yeah, we could do different things to avoid to avoid the yeah, that the, kind of stuff. The flat roof issues. I don't like wet roofs. Oh no. That's my pet peeve. Flat mm -hmm. roofs and skylights are always troubles. Yeah. yeah. So, but the exterior walls are good shape. But this is one of the things. We got a big question on what would it take to do that. Uh -huh. Now, the same thing in the floor. I guess they nailed it back. We had a hole cut. <laughs> when you sag like that, where they're connected in the middle on the joists, mm -hmm. it's got to pull apart. So yeah. Yeah. that's a big that. question. Yeah. We have to cut a lot of this out just to see what's there. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. why we have to have an architect. We just there's no way you can come in and look at it. No. You get into and a couple hundred thousand dollars, find out you can't fix it. Yeah, yeah. And that's what we're trying to avoid. Excellent. So, I'm surprised they're leaving these boxes open like this. They must; those files must not be too. Now, important. thing on documents, we would love to have these computerized. You can't. Oh, Most of this yeah. stuff is court records. So somebody carried these all up Gosh, the stairs. Yeah. Not all at once. Yeah. <laughs> but Hannaford's use them all the time. Yeah. Wow. And they, every now and then, you get a 15, 20 year old case, they got to come up with the documents. Yeah. Every now and then. So we can't, you don't want to computerize them, that's expensive. And if you miss one or something, so. Yeah. Ooh, what a dirty job. Yeah. Wow, this has nice wallpaper. Okay. And this, yeah, that's this the exterior door. Okay. It has a nice one. Yeah. And it's the same issues over yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Here you can see again the whole floor. Oh, yeah. That was, but they really... think this is down to bedrock. Oh, really? However, they check that. So they don't think we're settling anymore. It's an issue. It now comes to an issue what we're going to do with what we got. But there is, like I said, very few of these walls are 
load bearing, very few. So we have a lot of maneuvering room. Yeah. This, we started without you. Yeah, this one here is load bearing. Oh, yeah. And we'll over here, these two. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And everything else we can. Oh, nice of you guys. Yeah. Yeah. 19, 20, 30 vintage wiring, plumbing, everything. No But wiring. if you've got the walls, see the lat, we can just take that out and put in drywall. Mm -hmm. Just typical ceiling. We don't. Uh, there have, there the plaster some, walls. Yeah, there is some conduit up there for something. That was added on, oh, yeah. trying to keep the thing going. Oh, yeah. But that, I think, it has to do with some of our communications equipment's in here. Oh. All radios and stuff. Oh. So that they can yes. talk to the courthouse from here and yeah. get some other stuff. Yeah. So when you have the walls all empty, you can... Maybe can yeah. wiring and plumbing becomes oh, not hard at all. Those were the... Those were the But, you know, that part of it, kind of like the same, if you can. Okay. So, was this an apartment? Yeah, some of these were apartments. How many of Oh yeah, I can feel this. I can feel this. Okay, the roof is here. Hi, Jackie. I think you can see the windows, everything is askew. Yeah. Everything's got a yeah. list to it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is Jackie Good evening. Robert. From the Hi, Dan Hall. Nice to meet you. you. She lives out on the lake. Okay. So this be the building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sure, yeah, it is. It's a mess, but. Now, the, the offices downstairs, how, how, have they lowered the ceilings down? Yes, they yes. suspended the ceiling that okay. was lowered. Okay. And what we'd be doing basically what they did downstairs. Yeah. But would you take all this floor up to check what's under here? You'd have to to, to check the... Brandon, they, when we visited, we thought most of the problems were back during that time. Yes. We had a big room yeah. when it was a bank. Oh, a bank. Oh, when it was first bedroom? Yeah. Sure. That's when all that happened. Sure. The rest of it, the floor you see is not rotted. We're not... No. We're the wood's in good shape. We're not worried about water rotting damage. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Except for the roof. Oh. And all that coming to check the roof and be... <laughs> Here's how they know what's oh, yeah, sure. mm -hmm. yeah. oh my God. Well, Most of this stuff is court records mm -hmm. that we have up here. There's no freight elevator or anything like that. Nice party. And see, you can see in that window there, the angle. That's oh, yeah. exactly yeah. possible. Yeah. Do you have do you have you checked the foundation or the, do you the found, we haven't checked that. Yeah, and it's okay. The here. center sagged. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure it's on bedrock. This was here for years. Mm -hmm. There's been nothing really changed, so they think it's firm now. Okay. So anything we did, we wouldn't necessarily have to worry about that. Ground up, that's good. Mm -hmm. Any options are either gut the whole building and jack the center up. Mm -hmm. Or level what we got. Would you we, say that the excuse me, change in color here is about about seven feet? Oh well, I think these are eleven foot ceilings. Okay, so that's that's higher than seven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. those are about eleven foot to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And again we wouldn't have to dress all that up. We could just lower the just ceiling. Draw it. Yeah they did that as yeah. long as building. Yeah as long as this lath and plaster was um, we'd have to take that out or out keep caving it over the oh, years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, you take that out, it also lets you look and see what's up there. Mm -hmm. In my mind, I don't see anything here that's not fixable, as long as the selling issue. It's all about yeah. the bottom line. Mm -hmm. It'd be cheaper to fix this than build a new building. Because it's here. Mm -hmm. It's here. It's just it's The stone walls, we've had them tuck pointed. Mm -hmm. We know we'd need a new roof. It would be the first thing before we start okay. anything in here. To protect what you're doing. And we got the flat roof. Put something on different. It's hard. It's protected. <laughs> <Not even. laughs> years and years and yeah. years. Water always finds a hole. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. But uh, yeah, we'd have to do something with that. Uh -huh. But it's all 
Latin plaster, like you see there, these walls, so tear it up, go back to drywall. We could insulate a lot of things you could do. And put all the electric through. through but this is this is where really the question of just how much you just can't throw out a figure. Because we do have to take a look where all the joists meet on the uh, low bearing walls and make sure they're not being pulled apart, rotted out. So would the first step to get be an architect to come in and give you a... We had it that's we had about three years ago. Oh, okay. So and you that, already got The sanding was the first concern. Mm -hmm. And I think we've established that we don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay. So Dan, you think the situation is basically the same as it was three years ago? Yeah or years ago, they said this has always been here. And it's just a hair over three inches from outside uh -huh. the end. Uh -huh. It's sort of been like that for a long time. And I don't know what an architect or what they looked at down there, but they think the settling's over. Okay. That it, the load-bearing walls are sturdy now. Uh -huh. And you've got one load-bearing wall right down the middle. Right. Right. East and west. Yeah. Which gives us all kinds of options for moving walls around. Uh -huh. okay. Now, did I hear Pam say that you might be having offices up here too? Yes, we got other offices. Where it's not just health department. Uh -huh. uh, Teresa doesn't have an office. She's got a little company I know. home. I <laughs> and they get a lot of times they got people come in and you're running all over trying to find a place to put eight, ten people. It's hard to do. All right. Oh, hi. Wow. Howdy. Hi. Right. You know. <laughs> About <laughs> what? We're in spotlight. Yeah. But, uh, and that's, you know, there's, the zoning means sometimes you need a small space, sometimes you need a city hall. But uh, we just have no place to go like that right now, commission room, and that's not all that big either. Dan, and you want to come here, and if you think you've got bathroom <laughs> problems, you want to come here. Before <laughs> <laughs> you sit down, it's oh, non-functional. Is <laughs> it worse than the park? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing what they can do with this. We bought a house in Riverside, which was built in 1913. Yeah, so I'm very familiar with this stuff. Yeah, yeah. and you can really make there, a difference. Mm -hmm. well, we went up to Colorado in summer, mm -hmm. stayed in a cabin that was built in 1879. Mm -hmm. Still original logs and stuff, they just redone the interior. Mm -hmm. And that whole, that whole area of cabins was stagecoach stock. Mm -hmm. It was old, old buildings, but they, you know, repaired them as needed, and we did the inside. Beautiful buildings. Yeah. What are you wanting to do with this space up here? Clean it up, turn it into office space. Office. Oh, that'd be awesome. We had storage issues. I don't necessarily want to put storage up here if we clear some other areas I'll volunteer for demo, because I love it. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name, Dan? <laughs> you have to sign I have up. my own tools. <laughs> I have my own tools. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah. would be oh, awesome. Plaster and penny okay. yeah. Now, we know whose side you're on, and we're all on that side. Yeah. Do we need to start approaching other commissioners? Wait till we get some money figures. Okay. A new building, can they say a million bucks? That was so, shoot from the hip, it wasn't even funny. It was that land, concrete, you know, base, that's a metal building, so just numbers they use to get an idea. We need a lot more spe uh, specifics than that. And I think when it comes down to it, it's going to be a lot more expensive to go new no, than to repair. Is the downstairs okay? okay? Yeah, we need to shift some walls. It's a bad use of space. There's so many walls. But structurally, it's okay. Yes. So, yeah. Other than the seating, and that's what we're standing on. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah. yeah. How many square feet in here? A little over 6,000 between the two floors. Well, it's huge. Yeah. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah. Yeah. 6,000 usable. Usable. Yeah. So this is the top of the building. There's no attic up here. Yeah. No, there's nothing else out there. Okay. So is the leak at all? Yeah. Well, not as bad as it did. We got a few, but we wouldn't need a new building. There's no patches. Still flat roof. What can be done? What would you do with the roof? I mean, flat roofs are not good. <laughs> you can put a peak roof on it like they did on the grade school on that south That's extension. Right. That's right. They took a flat roof, this builder. Sloping roof over it. They did that in Pilsen, that 
building, that community center there is the same thing with slab roofs. We put a peak roof over oh, the top. Have they repaired the, the Pilsen Community Center? I didn't know that. Yeah, that used to be flat roof. Now it's got a peak roof. Boy, it was in terrible shape last time. Made a world of difference. Mm -hmm. Then they put uh, heavy metal on it, and they haven't had any problems since. And you've had inspectors up here that have told you it's structurally sound. And <coughs> I mean, the walls and stuff, and our big concern was that for the center, the low bearing walls had dipped. And uh, they said, near as they could tell, that's been there for years and it's not settling anymore. So it come down as a matter of just leveling, which is relatively simple compared to jacking up and bracing again. Mm -hmm. And with all the height we got, we got a lot of maneuvering room. And then if you replace the roof, you could fix the sagging rafters. Yeah, we'd have to be that'd have to be part of it before yeah. we put the roof. Mm -hmm. We just we're not sure what's up there until they tear it out. Would you have to put an elevator in here? So we'll have to put one. And that stairs will have to do something. I'm not quite sure what. Yeah. People's feet seem to be smaller in the good old days. Yeah. Something. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the steps were just getting taller. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, are you sure you haven't been here? You guys did bring your first? Any well, questions? We, go, go ahead, Jack. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You, you, you go on the tour. Oh, you keep moving against the walls and trying to put it in the middle. Yeah. Toward the lake. Toward the lake, yeah. yeah. Grown, yeah. Is this the same yeah. Roger Morris that lives in our house? So I'm comfortable with that. As it is, you know, strong. We wouldn't just verify the world. about, you know, putting this stuff on computers, we can't, this could be, we have to hire people, it's going to take them years, and but it's all so big. they keep coming up, every now and then, you need something for years and years and years. from the Ford House Christmas decorations. Exterior walls are in great shape. Yeah, we talked point and we've kept that up and just trying to keep trying to figure out what we're going to do with it. If you look back here in this room, you can see the ceiling rafters it's got a bowl in them. How many feet were they going to put in the middle? Oh, we were just pricing the same number of feet. Six thousand. Yeah. Well, and that's just discounting the historical value of having this building Absolutely. on the right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's just no... Yeah. Yeah. Heather, went to, yeah. Heather went to Ireland so, last so, spring. So, she said they got buildings so, there from the 13, 1400s. She said, my God, they were beautiful. He said, we can't make anything last 50 years. Right. Yeah. You just have to take care of it. But they're, once they're gone, they're gone. Like that cream reek. I yeah, believe somebody like, couldn't, yeah, I don't know, I wasn't here when that all went down, but it just, yeah. my God. Yeah. Um, that's one of the steps we can look into. Now, yeah. If you put them on the historic register, yeah. there's grants, but... Then it's going to take away a lot of options. You're going to have to go to original door height. Now that's going to change the whole equation. Like the courthouse. Yeah. The courthouse, we can't afford to change windows now because it's historical. we got to match those. You can do it out of vinyl, but it's not cheap. we got 130, 40 windows. And they're about four to seven hundred dollars a piece. The same thing in downtown St. Louis with her brownstone. She had a historical grant or something. 
Mm -hmm. That was in her, her place. But there's like RC and D. There's a lot of grants out there. Yeah, these used to be apartments up here. Some I'm of just telling one of the ladies, maybe some of the uh, vintage pieces. Three days. <laughs> 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 or some of the vintage pieces that we worked with used or sold, possibly, uh, to put towards. We can pull it's out. Amazing. You know, not destroying, but you know, someplace you want to look up on them or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, if we were historic or we'd have to duplicate that somehow. Is that, that an old cell? Yeah. These used to be important to this. Huh? Have the money to put into it. Into, yeah. yeah. Like we've never had life here, so we're not sure what happens. Yeah. We make the antique dealers pay full price or something. Get all the old Get all the old Yeah, yeah. yeah this way for a change. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's a funny joke. All the people have to be stuck. Okay. That old jail is going to solve some of our space problem because that bottom is recoverable. It's the same stuff the lab needs. We can jerk that yeah, out, yeah. replumb the wire, bring it up the code, put drywall up. And we need secure yeah. office space for the court office. And no computer. Yeah. Yeah. Or getting violent. Mm -hmm. so That's already first, built into it. And then this will be the next thing you think? Well, we're going to have to be looking. We, we're out of space. We need to be looking. But we don't necessarily want to put it. We've been putting money away, so we don't necessarily want to have to run another bond issue. Mm -hmm. Are there <coughs> any local contractors that work in restoration or anything like oh, that? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of locals okay. that would be qualified for, like, the interior finish or something okay. like that. Yeah, I, know I don't know about the structural part of it. I know what you're doing. Yeah. When you're doing a restoration. Oh. Oh, your closet, did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we store Deidre to in here. <laughs> Horrible. But Deidre will show you around downstairs just how crowded they are. Don't forget mm -hmm. the trailers out back. Oh, it's part of the yeah, Some of her storage, we got to, the old semi trailers, the boxes. That's not up. even acceptable, for Pete's sake. <laughs> it's not <laughs> us to survive. I know. Okay. Oh, that would not be good. An architect, but that's why. We have to resolve the structural issues, and if that's easy, then we can look at it. We'll be able to get a better cost figure. Because when you settle, something had to pull apart somewhere. You mm -hmm. just got to make sure. And you don't necessarily have to replace. You can repair, brace up. Mm -hmm. You just got to be careful about it. And that's what we got the guy looking at now. What they know about the building, compare costs and stuff like that. Is there, is there like a group that's really gung-ho for this metal building or trying to push that through or no? Okay, that's, that's good. good. <laughs> Not at all. Good. That was just the other option. Okay. We can't fix this. That's all it was. I mean, we haven't even looked metal or whatever. Okay. Just approximate cost to get this number of square feet in a new building. I'm not even sure if that included land acquisition. Mm -hmm. I think that was just building. Mm -hmm. Shall we so, go downstairs? Yeah, Deidre will show you around that. The lobby, as you can see, we have a full-time person that's receptionist up here she does that's where people basically check in she's for zoning and planning if you want <laughs> yeah that's sarah sarah's our um, business manager if you want to leave so um you can come on through here zoning and planning this is Tanya's office our healthy start uh, home visitor. This is her office. You know, we try to keep it as confidential as we can, private, um, but it is sometimes when she's visiting with someone, this is um, 
Sherry Moody's our WIC dietitian, so she's here one day a week for sure, sometimes even more. And so it is kind of hectic when they have How many two are employed that work here? There are, let's see, two, four, four full-time, and then there's about three part-time. So, well, and then she is full-time, so zoning and planning. Mm -hmm. She uses um, our secretary, so we split. I hope you all like each other because you're really... So, well, you know, I think we do. I don't know. <laughs> you're really so, elbow to elbow, so, aren't you? Yeah. And so this is that area. Stopped recording no. at us. Oh gosh. <laughs> you never know. No. <laughs> I need to work on it. We'll let you. Okay. <laughs> I'll be at the art and stroll. Okay. Stroll. Good, good, good. Um, we'll see you there. That's my office and yeah. Sarah. Art, art, art and music and stroll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm say I have to My daughter is here from Germany. We do immunizations on Wednesdays, so they check in up there. They were not going to see me. Yeah. No, even though you are in Europe, it's published quite yet. No, no. We're refrigerated. Fairly new, but we got through grants. We also do WIC one day a week. We schedule like a full day and then as needed as we'll do here and there. And so those kids are certified, the moms are certified height weight and hemoglobins are done in this room also. office. We used to do them in the office that I'll show you, but um, it didn't work with our machine because it's not real well insulated, so we kept getting condensation in the little tube that we do um, hearing, you know, that, that connects the machine to the probes. And so we couldn't figure out why we were having to replace it so much and find water samples or such, we have an incubator in there, so we don't really, she uses this a lot more, Sandra uses it for her, a lot of her safe kids stuff. show you outside so I will but this is basically our storage wow. um, our server there's not much to say about this yeah. oh yeah it's a good computer area problems with birds yeah they get in here yeah and I know we have have most of the storage upstairs yeah. right. yeah. 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 we just can't but I mean as you saw that it's not oh. I mean oh. there's been birds in there yes yeah. 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 yeah and so with all that oh, oh, yeah. 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 oh gosh but this is this is where we store
stuff that materials that might deteriorate or something with extreme heat. However, they say these are supposed to be pretty resistant to the weather. So, but we like lots of stuff. Seeds, bicycle helmets, stuff. How long does it take to get in there? I heard some of the other ladies just say that it looks kind of difficult to get into. Well, actually, it doesn't take too long. Obviously, you keep it locked up, but you just have to unlock it, and then those handles, you pull them up, and it opens. So it's kind of like a trailer. Oh, yeah. And we do, and that's our St. Kids trailer that Sandra got with. Yeah, the location is great. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, yeah, it's, it's just so we just don't have the the bad part. You can come inside and some of the The bad thing is we don't have any really conference room, you know. And if we meet with several people, it's kind of hard to keep it quiet. Confidential. A lot of times we'll borrow each other's office if it is something, or we'll go in the clinics. Um, we have, you know, have had, if it's just a matter of meeting at about meeting times or something and it's not confidential, we'll kind of clear off that table. What year did you move in here? It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Um, I'm trying to think if Lucille Britton was commissioned. I kind of think she was maybe commissioned. See, we started out, at least when I, since I've been here, we started out in the basement of the courthouse. Then we used the office across, finally. Well, we used to haul our stuff to the annex room. Then we used the office across there. Then we moved to the annex. And from the annex, then we came here. And I want to say this might have been. Because I, I don't think. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> An entourage. Yeah. Yeah. See you later. See, you, you come in Sunday, aren't you, to start an easy stroll? Yeah. Oh, yes, I'm going to try to. Yeah, we've got company, so I get coming to bring my daughter and granddaughter. You know, especially oh, yeah, the flyers just look like During flu season, when the you know, we have the cheap flu season. Yeah. Yeah. And then we set chairs in the hallway just to kind of keep the flow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, so then all your offices would be upstairs. You'd have okay. just more public things down Yeah, there. it would be nice to have. We got to hold it back. You know, we'd probably keep clinics, you know, down here, conference room, maybe upstairs.
Some, some type of uh, I'm a witness. Um, maintenance. <laughs>